So I thought I would make a little video of why you should fill out the course evaluation. Um, they're going to be released soon and there's all kinds of pressure on uh, faculty to make sure that students fill these out. Um, this is going to be quick and I hope to share a little bit with you about why you should do this. So first of all, it gives me feedback on how I can be a better teacher. I potentially will be teaching classes for a very long time in my life and uh, there are thousands of students that could come after you and so the better feedback that you give me today helps me make my class better in the future and that helps the students that come after you have a better experience. Um, and if I'm really honest with myself, if you guys really liked me as a teacher, uh, it gives me some bragging rights. It's great uh, if you do, if not, it's not the end of the world. Um, but it would be awesome to hear everybody think that the class was great. Um, and if it's not, again, it gives me feedback on how to make it better. So this is um, something that is very dear to my heart, and this is a review that was left by a high school student of a teacher, and I will tell you in a, in a minute how I ended up with this. But it says, um, this piece of paper does not matter. This class does not count against me graduating. If you want to give me a zero, just go ahead and do it see if I care. There's a little arrow to boogers. It says there's a booger. You like that. Actually, you give me a zero and I still pass. So you can take this paper, sit on it and turn in circles. I don't really care. Have a nice day. That is a really funny uh, evaluation. It was done in 2002. So it's uh, almost old enough to vote now. It probably is old enough to vote. Um, and it was written to a teacher that I had when I was in high school. Um, and this is us. This is me back when I was close to your age. It's at my graduation party um, when I graduated from Texas A&M. And to say that this man was influential in my life is uh, probably an understatement. I would say that 90% of the work that I do at the University of Michigan now uh, is a result of conversations that I had when I was your age about finance and life in general. Uh, and the lesson here that I want to get through to you on this is that nobody, not everybody's going to like me as a person or a teacher. Um, there are a few of you out in the audience who probably hate the lectures I've done and spend the whole class waiting for me to shut the hell up. Um, and that's okay. Uh, give me the, the best information that I can use in the future to uh, help others. And if you don't like me, that's fine. Um, but just know that like, and, and this is kind of for my purposes, that this student who hated uh, this teacher, and, and the story of how I got this is that this man passed away a couple years. He's been dead about six or seven years now. And his landlord, who was going through his papers, gave me a huge stack of this stuff. Uh, and he kept all the reviews that students had given him for years uh, and and sort of, I don't know, I guess it was his way of looking back. So even these students who hated him with a passion, um, he still remembered them de dearly in his heart. So the last thing that I want to leave you with is things that, that do not help me on the course evaluation. Um, these are like apocrypha sort of stories that the professors share. I have no control over the time of day when the class meets. I have no control over the material covered. Um, and if you leave comments on those things, there's like literally nothing I can do to change that. I was assigned this class to teach um, and I was assigned the material. So those things I can't change. Um, but to the best of your ability, please give me feedback that would help me uh, teach this class again in the future. And um, to the extent that you you know, care uh, about leaving me a nice comment, I would certainly appreciate it. Thank you.